I'm Grace Tuamala and I'm a senior in computer engineering. I'm Megan Bailey, I'm a sophomore in computer engineering. I'm Ava Colley, I'm a freshman in aerospace engineering. I think I was always interested in how things work growing up, so I'd always take apart my toys and see all the individual parts, um, and then put it back together again. So I think I want to take my curiosities and kind of relate it to my career, um, and go into engineering. So. Yeah, I was like the same way. Like as a kid, I would always be building things with like my Legos, yeah. or like I would look at all the electronics in my house, like my TV or like my parents' coffee maker, and I was like, where is its brain? How does it do things? <laughs> so I really wanted to get into that of like electronics and programming. For me, I always had really great math and science teachers, so they made it fun to learn those types of things. To me, Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day is really about showing girls that this is a space where they belong and that they're welcomed. Because I think, especially in our culture, there's such an idea that you know boys growing up play with building toys and girls growing up play with dolls, and that's starting to go away. But I think a lot of us like still grow up with that idea, and it's important to have this day to show that no engineering is a space where you should be. You know? Yeah. It's definitely a lot better now than it was, you know, 30, yeah. 40 years ago, but there's still the feeling when you walk in and it's you and three girls yeah. versus 40 guys. So it really is nice to be able to like work together with the other girls in the classes and know that we have each other's backs. Yeah. Yeah, I really get that feeling because I never felt outwardly discriminated against, but at the same time it can be kind of difficult to connect with other students when you're the only girl in the class. Yeah, definitely. As the classes get harder, it's definitely scarier, but at the same time, you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm actually doing this, like it's actually real. Because yeah. like with a lot of like gen ed classes, you're like, when am I gonna get there? Like, when am I finally gonna take my engineering classes? And then you get there and you're like, can I go back? <laughs> can I go back? <laughs> but like at the same time, you don't want to, because like it just, it, it's so interesting and the topics, you, exactly, like, you can't stop learning, and that's like the cool part. So. Yeah. I think the challenge is what I really love about engineering because I'm the type of person who just cannot be not doing something <laughs> and I love how you can just be working through a problem for hours at a time and you're like, whoa, where did the entire day go? Yeah. yeah. Like the more challenge, more reward. Like I'll, I'll be sitting in a lab, just like banging my head against a wall, that I can't get my you know code or my circuit to work. And then after like two hours, it'll finally work, and I'll take a yeah. picture yeah. of it and send yeah. it to my parents. Like, look at this, look at this. Like the longer that takes, the prouder you are. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it, it, it's the like the it, when it finally works. That that's the highlight of your day. Like you yeah. Struck gold, and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. I did that. <laughs> I, I hope one day there's you know representation for everybody in engineering because it really is for everybody. everybody there's there's yeah. no one way an engineer should look or be, and I guess ideally like you know one day we won't need introduce a girl to engineering day because it'll just be a given. Like, you know yeah. of course <laughs> a girl should be an engineer. Yeah. So, yeah.